Um, are you getting gravel out of this? Yes, you are. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, gravel, gravel, gravel. There you are. Uh, put it onto the other side. Oh, also... Yeah. This stuff doesn't go into here. Oh, this is completely wrong. This is completely wrong. Um... Yeah. Do it like this. Uh, go under over here. Split it off. You are going to filter out the uh, raffle. There it is. Go on to the other, uh, other side, please. You feed this back. You feed it in. And then... No, no, no. We're, go we're going uh, this way. Nope, oh, we're great. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. Good. Ah, yeah, and uh, good night, Dragon Girl. Sorry, I was uh, a bit preoccupied. Have a good night. And look at this. The first titanium is coming out. Uh, we could hook it on the pseudo bus or the proto bus. The yeah, this is this is a nightmare. <laughs> Technically, we would have to hook it up over here because we need it over here to make more of the stuff that we need. So let's do that real quick. I mean. Who needs trains, right? Question is, do I have enough belts? I probably have enough belts. There we are. That's where we need to go. Uh, go this way. Uh, do this. Do this. You're going to go like this. You're going in like this. And you're going to get flipped. Nope. That was wrong. Rotate you. And I just watch me seeing something else going up the belt, and I just have completely contaminated the wrong belt or something. There's nothing coming up over here. Uh, probably because. It would be so nice if there would be like a button or something that just says flip whole belt. Yep, that's the titanium belt. Uh, you are going the other way. Actually, you are going the only way because I don't think anything over there uses any titanium at all. Good, this should reactivate green science. Now, we probably also have a tar problem done. Oh. No, actually, yeah, this should be producing more rubber. And our rubber facility is currently on hold because latex is on hold. How the fuck are we out of latex? Because you're out of slabs, you are out of formic acid. Oh, 
Did I disconnect something? Uh, formic acid is made over there. Oh, that seems to be all right. You need more CO2? Oh. More CO2 is no problem. We have a coke line somewhere nearby. As we always, we have always coke lines in this facility. Um, dang it! <laughs> uh, thanks, thank you, my heart. I will probably have never ever looked after that again. Also, where's my car? Did I walk over here? Yes. Oh, wait, that's crawl that. Oh, my car's over there. Also, what's going on over here? How did this happen? you up out you go thanks mate good then I wanted something over here oh yeah uh, I remember probably because we are out of what do we need for these iron <laughs> So, uh, making CO2 out of... Nope. There are so many CO2 recipes. Is it over here? Yes, out of Coke. Um, five of these make 80 per second. How many do we need for the... Uh, what's it called again? And we're going to walk over there because it's not that far. Formic acid, yes. Um, there it is. We need a hundred per second. So you make five of these, make eighty per cent. Ten of these make eighty per second. So we need twelve of these. Is twelve going to be fine? Let's see, twelve of these, nine thousand six hundred. Would be just under. 12 of these is going to be fine. That's why did I never ever... How, what was I thinking? I had one of these. Power all of these. And these need 100 carbon dioxide per second. Is this recipe better? Oh, yes, it is actually. Makes like 100 per second. So, other question. Why aren't you making any more? Because your sand is full and everything else is empty. I see, I see, I see. So... This will be a good carbon output. I'm going to make it down here. Mainly because... Wait, where's, where's carbon going? This is all cool. This is carbon. This is carbon. Not carbon, coke, sorry, coke. And you have excess coke going through here. Okay. And this line doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Good to know. So, technically, we could do something like this. And then make the... Oh, this is also... What happened of... Oh, they probably all starved to death. Oops. Then again, we don't need this anymore. We can't pick it up. I 
I see this was one of those very important power pulls. Uh, let's maybe keep this connection. I have no clue where this all goes, but... Yeah, this is the water connection. Where does this water come from? That's a good question, actually. Where does, where does this water come from? It comes from over here, it comes from over there, it comes from all the way over here. How much water do these need? Uh, 100 per second, that's fine. And then we have this coal line going through, and then this water line going over here. Yeah, this water line can go. This has to stay. Let me pick you up. This whole thing can go. Oh, inventory full. Is there a chest? Good, then this whole thing can go. Oh. And this thing can go. Now, have we this syngas line? We're going to move it. It'll go down here. Queue up. I have no clue where it's going, but it's probably doing something useful. Absolutely no clue. Absolutely no clue. And then we're going to place... Didn't I make these? No. Make ten of these. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Shitting me. Off by one. Five, and then one, two, three. There we go. Coke will be coming in. This will be going out. There we go. And each one of you makes some um, Coke. Good. And hook it all up. Give it a hooky. Let's see. Tomorrow is Wednesday, yes. Um, we will definitely be continuing on tomorrow uh, with uh, Pionodons. Uh, actually, today would have been Stellaris. However, I was jonesing so hard for a bit of Pionodons because I love this mod pack to absolutely bits and pieces. Uh, that I skipped out on Stellaris. Also, the, the current run we're having with Stellaris also didn't really feel that that successful. It, it will. We will win that game. But it was... It feels a bit like a drag. And that's a bit annoying, to be perfectly honest. We're also going to connect it up, not on this line. Uh, but you will see once we're down there. We're going to connect it up on this line. Nope, oh, not like this. There we go. Also add some laps to this. It's dark as fuck. Actually, there is a way to this madness. Ah, perfect. Good. Uh, a higher coke production also gives us a higher tar production. A higher tar production overall is something that we want to have. Because tar is... Why is this being contaminated? Oh. Uh, how do we do this? Yeah, like this. Copy, paste. Uh, 
There we go. Works like a chart. <laughs> So, let's see. Nah, we just have to decontaminate the belt ourselves. Run around. Oh, actually, that's the last of it. Perfect. Good, where's this coke? I can't see it. Have I turned blind already? Oh, there it is. Boop. So now these can make formic acid non stop. Perfect. Which means you're making latex non stop. Perfect. You are taking it from the top, not bottom. I'm getting too tired. <laughs> but thanks anyway. Good. Now that the latex is going again, these rubber machines are going again. Uh, technically, science should be going again. Where's the science belt? That's not science. Oh, yes. That's good. It could be a bit faster, to be perfectly honest. How is the titanium facility looking? It's... Yeah, we need to get more titanium in. Uh, that's a good thing. There's another titanium field over here. And there's even one over here. And then we have also have these titanium rocks. These are pretty amazing. Uh, there are spe uh, special reservoirs out there that have like 8 million of the resource and you have them in all kinds. You also have them here for coal, for example, or over here for tin. And these allow you to make like, like small mega mines, which I really, really do enjoy. Also, uranium is down here. And... Good, uh, which means orc power. Hmm. Orc power. Maybe. Oh, they do require meat to run, don't they? Water animals? Uh, yes, there are a lot of animals in the game. Uh, we have Urix, we have Ox, we have Rocks, we have... I have no clue what these are. Then we have Cutting Guts. Cutting Guts are pretty cool because you can make science packs out of them. Uh, which is another way of making science. Um, I have no clue what the stud pup is, but it sounds pretty amazing. Then you have multiple plants. You also have fish. I haven't done fish yet. But yeah, water animals is something that you can make uh, to make more urea out of the wastewater. And where urea is very important. You need it for pretty much everything. And you can make fish and fish oil. Um, so, yeah, we still need way more. Absolutely tons more of titanium coming in, because titanium isn't being processed that fast. Yeah, making circuits in your pocket. Don't make circuits in your pocket. Another 24, that should be fine. Now more iron plates. And that should be fine in the amount of, uh, of miners. Oh, there's also another 3.5 million place over there. Now... You know what we could do? Could set up a small chaos train segment. 
the startup. I've always wondered how these bases came together, where you just have this absolute mess of a thing and everything is somehow working. And then if a train going through, etc., 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 we could also just start up setting a train down here, which will bring in some of the titanium from over here, from over there, at some point over here, and definitely down here. Yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, there's so much titanium about. Uh, but that's probably something we're going to do next time. I'm sorry to say, but I will have to call it here. Uh, mainly because I sadly also have work tomorrow. So, Marcons, thank you very much for the Prime subscription, but it's already uh, 1 a.m. over here. And I still have work tomorrow. And I didn't do shit today, so I have to do double uh, the work tomorrow. Uh, and at least come up with uh, some kind of techno babble excuse so that people don't suspect me of just sitting around at home and playing Beat Saber all day. Which I definitely not did. It was bloody amazing. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Marcons. Uh, but we did do, we did tick off another thing on our list. Chromium will be next. Then will come robots. Then comes the Mega Mall, and then we will go figure out what we are going to do next. Then we're probably going to delve in into some more balanced and interesting builds. And I'm pretty sure once we go down the Mega Mall way, where we have to supply all the materials for each one of these, uh, it will probably be obvious what we have to do next. Uh, but we will have to automate the construction of each one of these buildings down here. So that's going to be a ton of fun. So, I'm the Bolt Viking. Thank you all for watching today. Thank you, uh, Xeli the Exile, for the raid today. I will definitely be looking what you are doing next. Thank you, um, Jan30028, for the raid today. It was only one of you in that raid, but it was one of the most honest persons I know. And Jen just started streaming, so let's give him another shout-out. Did I give him a shout-out as he was raiding me? I have no clue. Uh, 3028. But he started just streaming. It was the second stream today, and my inventory is full. And he decided to raid me, and he's also been watching me since, I think, uh, since, I, since two or three months or so, since I became a... Um, What's it called? Not Apprentice. Affiliate <laughs> with Twitch. So do give leave him a follow. He would absolutely love that. Thank Tom I for the follow. Thanks. Thank you, Monard. I hope I didn't confuse you too much with my base. And I hope to be seeing you around again. Naftalium, also thank you for the follow. And Bosch the Bosch, thank you for that rate of 10 people. You are always welcome here. And I think that was everyone. Yep, that was everyone. So, without further ado, I wish you all a good night.